Roll for speed. Three, two, and one. We are absolutely live. Yeah, I gotta keep dreaming. Gonna keep going. Yeah, I gotta keep pushing. Gonna keep breathing. Yeah, I gotta keep working. Yeah, this for the moment. It's not with a million. And that one my mansion. So my family knows that. We are set for life. Yeah, ain't nothing. Frost. Frost on the pumpkin for this protein journal. And a window, a small window of opportunity. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lake Huron, and I got myself a Wisconsin weapon right here. Jay Shakurit, a little bit of a small mouth expert. Jay, kind of dial us in your history on Lake Huron. Zero history on Lake Huron. So whatever this guy has in store for us today. Get him, young Skywalker. <laughs> Look at him. When I take a right outside of this breaker wall right here, and you see flat water on Lake Huron, let's ride. It never will complete it, never do just all these things. But they don't even know me, they don't know what I can bring. I mean, total cheese balling. Yes! I got the call or message to come on the Striking Protein Journal with Mark Zona. You know, to be honest with you, I was a little bit speechless at first. And what's funny is I, I decided to, to tape at Lake Huron. Jay Shakur was coming through with, for a Strike King Lose function, I, and I thought, man, let's roll the dice. And, and, and why I say roll the dice is you're a hero or zero on Lake Huron, because you can go, here's the thing, you, you can not go hours, you can go days without catching them. All right, we started out on the lake, not firing yet, but I got a little sneak hole that if there's nobody up in here, all through the Great Lakes, there's power plants, warm water discharges that the smallies get in. This is a really, really, really good one and it looks like we got it to ourselves this morning, so, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Took a minute. Had no idea I had a bass right there. I'm not gonna lie, for the first one of the show. <laughs> you cute little fella, huh? And Lake Huron is so epically different. I've been lucky enough to fish every single Great Lake. And to me, Lake Huron is by far the toughest one. With that being said, it's the toughest one. But if you connect, you're dealing with bass that really probably have not had much pressure, not this week, but probably not much pressure in their lifetime. What, what had transpired in the morning is absolutely positively what Great Lakes 101 is. You just go, and, and I'll always say this, you go and you go and you go until you finally collide and that's what's about to happen that a boy that a boy oh yeah <laughs> that's what they'll be that's what they'll be good job dude that's a good one, dog that is a good one Good, good, good sign. Mm -hmm. Mm 
My man. <laughs> yes, sir. My man. I like that. Yeah, I'd say that's a good first one. My hands are a little cold from this morning still. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Big. You've got to be kidding me. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Look at that meat pie, huh? Yeah, these are good ones. These are good. Ones. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> That was a bad, we needed about 90 minutes to get the poison out. Our hands are a little cold. This hand's real cold right now. <laughs> All right, so basically, check it out. We're just getting the poison out. My man's got a baby Z2. New color, the juice, kind of a little perchy, green pumpkin back chartreuse. Duh, green pumpkin, purple flake coffee tube. Real heavy head. It's got a new striking head in it, and it's really weight forward. But I'm throwing a half ounce um, just to kind of, it's all a little bit reactionary with that tube. But I know it sounds nuts. You always hear, use search baits. When you're using a, a heavy head, it is a search bait. You're able to cover water. But all these fish that, that we're targeting, they're goby eaters. But if you look at, if you like actually look from above with the drone, we're fishing an area where they've dumped tons and tons of rock and concrete, and the bass don't actually get on those high spots. They get around it and just feed all fall. But really, we're gonna be targeting like 13 to 20 foot of water-ish. No big in, big in, big. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold Stay on. hooked, dude. That's big. <laughs> Oof. Those are big bass, man. Need help with this one? No, I got her. Gosh, that's a toad. to go fellas they're all gonna be big all gonna be big look at that in the sunlight ooh that's just sassy I mean, it is extremely tough to get on fish in the fall just because they group up so much. Like Z said, you can go for days and days and not have a bite and then magically come onto a school. You know, that's kind of what happened. We went to one of his last areas, kind of mid morning. The sun was just starting to get up, you know, a little bit higher. Things started warming up and we saw a couple fish on forward facing imaging and, you know, I hooked up with the first fish. We kind of figured out that that area was going to be pretty special, but we didn't know how long it was going to last. Apparently, I need to learn how to crack a tube. <laughs> that rod, if you look at that rod, that's my tube cracking rod. It's got a lot of power next to the boat. Small one, small one, small one. It's got a lot of power next to the boat to where they, they can't sit there and dog with you. But if you notice, most of these fish that I'm catching on that tube, yeah? Yeah, hold on. Um, most of those, these fish I'm catching, they're on the initial drop or the first five feet that I'm popping it. You mark. My man. Oh, uh -huh. God. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. Lord. Uh -huh. <laughs> Get him, young Skywalker. <laughs> look at him. That is a Ooh, he's all just. Look at him all with him. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. Good job, Bubba. Scattered hard. Oh my. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yes! <laughs> my man. 
I think we found them. So today I use, on my drop shot setup, I use the 610 Mark Zona Signature Series spinning rod. Personally, my all favorite, all time drop shot rod, just because I'm a little bit shorter guy and with the 610 rod, it just fits me perfectly. When I get down and land fish on the side or, you know, I'm trying to plink fish off, you know, off the bow of the boat, it's just the perfect rod with the perfect tip. I pair it with the custom light reel, which is the new reel that Luz has come out with. And it has an absolutely phenomenal drag on it. You know, that drag on the custom light is, is pretty unbelievable. A tube mimics things that a smallmouth eat. It looks just like a goby. And to me, green pumpkin, purple flake, that's a home wrecker. We were fishing, you know, like I said, we were fishing, call it 12 out to 17 or 18 feet of water. But I was using a very, very heavy, very heavy half ounce striking tube head. I want a smallmouth to not have time to think about it. I want that bait, the best way to put it, to go and he has to do one of two things. Roll or put in his mouth. Uh-oh. Find one? Yeah. Big, 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 big. <laughs> and the beauty of that rod that I was using, that, that's a seven foot two tube crack and special. It's coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. When I'm fighting one way out there, or when I'm fighting one next to the boat, you're able to turn him with that rod. It's got a very soft tip, but it's got a tremendous amount of backbone. Yeah, he'll work. A little short, stubby, fatty. God, I look how stubby that thing is. Wow. That is so awesome. Dude, there is nothing better. There is nothing better when you bomb a half ounce coffee tube out and lift up and it goes conk. Ooh. Big? Yeah. Camera worthy. Nice. Gonna be a fun protein journal. Look at this kid go. You were you were soaked. Give me a break. That was awesome. <laughs> oh God. Ooh. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, dude. there's a, a lot. There's a lot. Is there? <laughs> I think, yeah. <clears throat> That's awesome, bud. Way to go. Uh huh. It's a good one. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'd say there's a lot bigger ones down yeah. there. <laughs> Jay's, uh, Jay's the same age as my twins. He actually fished against my twin boys a year or two ago. He fishes almost identical to, m to my boys. It was almost like I had, I said this in the boat, it's almost like I had a triplet. It was like Hunter, Jacob, you could put up a three box. Hunter, Jacob, Jay. Granted, he doesn't look very Italian. Jay connected with one and it was the right one. And it was the breadcrumb we needed for where the rest of this show is going. My man Jay here won him a little Bassmaster Derby on Lake Ontario a couple months ago. Him and Corey Johnston, first ones to ever catch over a hundred pounds and he actually did it with a, a bait. He was throwing a striking half shell. Get your skimmy a break. Um, he actually <laughs> did it on a striking half shell on a bait that I, oh my oh, gosh, my good heavens. <laughs> Ooh, oh yes. He did it on a half shell that I designed about a mile from where he won that tournament. Oh yeah, 
I mean, no. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. <laughs> good job, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. First Lake Huron experience, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty magical, I'd say. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let that beast go. This show was real. I mean, we grinded hard. I mean, this is the Great Lakes. We collided with one school for one hour and we caught what we caught. And that's the reality of fishing. That's what I want people to take away from this show was, you know, we didn't go out there with spots found or anything like that. Or we basically went out there blind and went to these areas and finally collided with a school of fish and caught them for one hour. And that was it. And then that's the reality of fishing. And uh, you know, that's what I want people to take away from this show is it's never easy. You have to work for for every bite you get, whether it's in a TV show or in a tournament. I was gonna say. <laughs> I think I got a proper one. Yeah. I'd say. Oh yeah. Black. Look how black that one is. Yeah. You'll see that, like if you look at Jay's first one, his was really, really light, which oh, yeah. I don't know, you hear theories like maybe that fish just came in. That one's jet, jet black. Perfect one though. It, it was funny, I, I miss fishing with my boys. I do, I used to fish with them all the time. Heck, I, I've taped shows out where we were at with, with Jay today. And I was walking Jay through certain areas and showing him pictures and be, being an old dude. Today reminded me of that. It really did. I always say that I'm haunted. I'm haunted by fishing the Great Lakes. It's, it, it has aged me, but gosh, it's so rewarding. So rewarding. Has Zona aged well over the past few years? Since I've been watching him on Zona's Awesome Fishing Show, I'd have to give him like a... S he hasn't aged as much as he says he's aged. He says he's getting a lot whiter and his beard he grows out in hunting season it looks like he's yeah anyways he still gets around pretty good i mean he's he's still pretty active you know are you italian or not? <laughs> <laughs> i don't think the bird is very italian yep. whoa oh. it ain't a bass but it's big it's really big it's a, it's a salmon <laughs> wow wow i mean i got one what a bite <laughs> Ooh! You think they're all awesome? Ooh! Dude, it's coming up! Jay, I'm a TV show host. I'll catch them all. <laughs> Ooh! Nothing I'd like more. Watch that trolling motor, boys. Watch <laughs> that trolling motor now. I can't put the coals to them. <laughs> Ooh! It's coming up, boys. Oh my. Ooh. He's gonna jump. Oh, come on, jump. It's just a solid rock, man. Dude, they got teeth. We gotta be careful here. I ain't touching them. That's like a 40 pounder. Be careful. Look at that. Look at that beautiful. That's an Arctic char. That's an Arctic char. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Wow. Let me, let me grab them. Yeah, let me, yeah, just. I got them. I got them. I got them. Let's do a <laughs> selfie together. Hold on. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> He's, dude, he's trying to bite me. He's trying to bite me. <laughs> I mean, that's Protein <laughs> Journal right there. Look at him. Oh, he's milking on me. <laughs> Go on, fella. Go on, little buddy. Go on. Ooh, 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 look at him trying to bite me. Hey, where you going, bud? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there he goes! <laughs> Look at him! Wow! Look at him! That was awesome! Oh, fish right there! Fish right there!
I, I have a pretty good vibe that, that Jay's going to go on and have a, an incredible fishing career. He's already had one. I mean, what's a kid that's 23 do with all that money? I know what I would have done at 23. <laughs> I did Motley Crue playing in my backyard that week. If you watch Jay as a fisherman, as a young man, for all the high school and, and junior high angler, college anglers, that's a professional that's gonna go on to do many things. I can get grumpy in <laughs> this time. Oh yeah. What does that look like? Yeah, what's a rage look like? <laughs> what's a J rage look like? <laughs> <laughs> Might just involve a little bit of cursing and then. Next time on Pro Team Journal. Welcome to this episode of Strike King's Pro Team Journal. Mark Menendez here with you on one of my most special places in the world that I get to come. Hey, we're here in Western Kentucky, sportsman's paradise. I've got a duck hunting place right here behind me. Big giant deer live here and great big bass live here in Western Kentucky as well. Very close to the proximity of the Ohio River and Mississippi River where they meet. So we've got all kinds of weather today. It has been Chamber of Commerce for months here and now the biggest front of the year is coming through. So I'm really excited excited to see what's going to happen here. We're going to be power fishing. It's kind of a lost art, We've not thought about much. All we think about is finesse and light line things, but not today. We've got big boy games here. we got big square bills, big spinner baits, jigs, tubes, stuff you haven't seen in a while. And I think that's what we're going to have big success on here today.